you know, the reason we were here, right? That's why everyone's here. It's Jet Force Gemini. Classic 19, or like, what, 2002? I don't remember. Uh, N64 module, Jet Force Gemini. Uh, uh. All right. Now, did it? Oh, it actually saved my, my control inputs. So that's good. All right. Oh uh, yeah, last time we left off, we unlocked this new area. Module updated, thank you ladies intro. Um, which is this crashed ship, which apparently we have some kind of way of surviving in the vacuum of space as we appear to just be looking out into the vacuum of space. So that's fun, I guess. Um, but yeah. Oh, you know what we should do? Hold on. Um, let's see. First things first. Um, last day of our uh, current para sponsorship with a Boylan Bodlin Company root beer since 1891 with real cane sugar. As you can all see there. Real cane sugar. Real cane sugar. Like I said before, this is a, a short term. Four, four, uh, episode, four episode, uh, para sponsorship. We have a new one. We'll be starting on Thursday. Stay tuned to the Twitter for that. Uh, I'll be doing a Twitter update about that to, uh, after the stream. And then, um, Thursday, Thursday, we'll also be doing this, the, another Twitter for, uh, Announcement of, of, of the start of it, I guess. So, for one last time, with Boylan Bottle and Company Root Beer, uh, boiling your taste buds since 1891. Still really good. Still really good. Boil in your taste buds. Man, it's hot in the office today. Oh, all right. Anyway, so let's get back to exploring this random ship we come we came across out in space. With absolutely no idea what to expect. But I will stay on the lookout. Oh, this is actually a scene transition. And we are detecting aliens. Oh. Oh, I didn't actually expect to, like, run into aliens here. I kind of thought this was going to be, like, a, a puzzle, like a running puzzle or something. Oh, there's a teddy bear. I didn't expect, um... Bugs on this one. There's a secret thing down there. It's indicating that there's bugs around, but... Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to come back for that? Let's see. Hold on. Bonus feature unlocked. Yeah, I'm not sure what the vibe is supposed to be here. One of twelve. Like, the soundtrack almost has, like, a alien invasion, sort of? Or, like, Aliens the movie? But I don't know how I, if I believe that. Okay, I think we're just... Are we on the other side now? 
Oh good, we are. Oh. Hello? Where did that come from? So I'm just firing random shots at me? Good shots. Oh. That, how did that not kill you? I'm definitely playing Warzone right now because all my shots are not counting. I'm getting hit indicators and absolutely no effect from them. Um, is that it, really? Hmm. Seems a little strange. There's going to be another giant puzzle. I think this is where I came in. Ooh. Okay, we're a third of the way there. Or no, a fourth of the way. No, no, I have four of twelve, so that would be a third, yeah. My brain not braining so good. I might be a, a a wee bit on the on the on the the tired side. After a long day in the Arizona sun, doing lots of manual labor, my brain it turns out is slightly fried. down there already. This is back the way we came, but that's kind of where we want to go, I think. Especially since I have jet fuel now. Oh, wait. Okay, I guess I can't. It kind of made it look like I was supposed to break those and then go down or something, but apparently not. I'm still very confused about what the aesthetic of this is supposed to be. I guess it's just supposed to be generic crash ship, but... Hmm. I don't know. It has a little bit different vibe to it. Okay, I guess this wasn't where I was supposed to go. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, come on! Either grab the ledge or just land. I don't know why you're fighting me on this. Okay, so we'll take this back up. And I guess we'll go and try to find one of the other entrances to other parts of the ship. So it seems like we actually kind of just ran out of place. Okay. Let's try down here. Hmm. Oh, teddy bear. That's a good start. Additional teddy bear. No? Um. Ah, we actually made that on the first try. Uh, okay. All right. Another teddy bear. Yeah, the audio on this is is really weird. It's super like spooky, suspenseful. But unless something weird is going to happen where there's a secret boss fight here and it turns out we are going to get attacked by aliens or something, it feels a little over the top, to be honest with you. We found the flamethrower. Uh-oh. Remember that berserker, berserk flame, flaming drone can damage your health. Oh, remember that berserk flaming drones can damage your health. Wow, that seems incredibly unuseful then, if that's the case. Um, if that's the case, yeah, I w that means I wouldn't want to use it in this area. Where they're going to light themselves on fire and then just bum rush me. They already like to bum rush me, let alone doing it even more so. Hmm. That was a 
weird noise. It was an IRL real weird noise. Hmm. I don't know what that noise is. It sounds like plastic. I, I'm not sure. Maybe one of the cleaning people is uh, replacing some garbage bags or something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I'm going to need to be up here, right? Because I think I need to drop down. Yeah. Drop down. What? No, dingus. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Boil in your taste buds. That's not even close to what I was trying to do there. And I can't skip this cutscene. Wow, are they really playing all the way back to landing at the original exit? Not even the side exit we found to get there? Dang. Well, that was obnoxious. All right, uh, let's go to the star map. Um, and then the space station, please. So I guess now the question becomes, how do I get back to this floor? I guess I have to go do everything else and then come back here and then leave? This way? It's also strange to me that that they decided that the best way to handle this Oh, flamethrower upgrade. It's cool. That the best way to handle this was to take an elevator that transitioned you, and as opposed to just having you walk through a door into this? I don't know, it just seems really strange. Okay, that's a dead end. Uh, did I, like, I almost feel like I'm missing something in this room, but... Uh, I got that. There. Oh, that's the the their thing. That's the little uh, mining hammer they give up when they see you. Uh, okay. okay, looks like there's some enemies down. Oh, that's why I went back this way. Okay. Yep, I know, I know. Enemies, they are coming to rustle my jimmies. I know. I don't know exactly where they are, but... They're definitely coming to rustle my jimmies. Oh. oh, looks like you lost. You even shot first, fool. You even shot first and you still lost. That's gotta hurt a little bit, right? A little bit? A, a wee smidge of a of a, of a, of a, a obnoxious. It's so interesting to me that <laughs> whatever that works. Um, all right, so oh really? Uh, this way. Ah, yes. Okay. Good enough. Grab the ammo. Grab the bear. Okay, so we're basically back to where we were at. Does the flamethrower have some kind of special power or something? Wait, this one? It does not, and it goes through fuel instantly. What? Look at how quickly that just 
Dang. I was not expecting to go through fuel that quickly. Okay, so yeah, then that just circles to that, which was a dead end. Right? Unless I'm missing something, but I don't... Like, I can't jump into this. We tried that a second ago. Hmm. Unless this is gonna turn out to be an area where you specifically has to come back as, like, the dog or something. Tank a dog. Which would be odd, but not that odd, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this actually goes down more. Okay, that might actually be something different then. I know there's at least one more teddy bear I gotta get here. Is it this way? Because it's the one that's on the other one of the lower platform areas. Or not? Did... Wait, what? Oh, I guess I got it already? Huh. Weird. I thought I didn't. I didn't think I got this one yet. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go find that other elevator and go down then. That's the, well, let's check this way before we leave the floor. Because once I leave the floor, I'm out of jetpack fuel. Okay, that just takes us back up. Okay, so yeah. Well, luckily, as long as we don't get on the ship to leave, we shouldn't reset our counter, so. Uh, okay, this is the elevator down. Oh, okay, it is another transition. Kind of looked like it with as short as that elevator was, but oh my god. Uh, I'm just going to grab them first. Uh, and then... Uh, then we'll do with him. One downside is there's no gems here, though. So I'm not getting any health back. And these guys are actually good shots. Usually these drones weren't particularly good shots, but these ones are actually good shots. go two-thirds of the way okay that looks like a transition down hmm. yeah, I'm very curious to see oh Is back up. Hmm. Oh, hello. I didn't I didn't expect to see you here. How fortuitous that we have met today of all days. Today, which is the day where I happen to have that. What was that noise? Oh wait, we didn't kill one of the teddy bears, did we? No. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Also, I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, we didn't go get the other ones. Oh, that's right, there's two of the ones out there we have we can't get without hitting the ship. So there's still those ones to go get too. I forgot about that. So, and this is just back. Oh, this is the one that takes us down. OK. 
Okay, cool. So we're like missing, I think, one? I mean, technically speaking, I think we're just missing like one. Like I said, I don't have... I have yet to come across a gym to refill my health. Really? You just don't? Okay. Uh, what? Oh, I forgot. I'm not aiming down sight for that to work. Uh, what? It, it just led to... What? Is this a joke? Do I do I look like a joke to you? Huh. Okay. This is a really strange area. <laughs> Maybe we passed another door that I missed on the way in. Well, that's just the elevator down. Hmm. Yeah, like... like maybe the last... I'm just kind of confused. Is there, is there one in here or something? Is this whole bottom floor nothing but a trap just to come down here and think you need a te another teddy bear in the last four actually in that starting area by the ship? Is that the problem? one in here. It looks like we already got them. I think part of the other problem with this is so many of these maps loop back around onto themselves and they're so generic looking it's actually hard to tell when you've done a loop. Okay, this is I think just the room that had the big guy in it. That's all that is. Okay. Or not? I mean, one of these should lead me back to the elevator that goes up. Eventually. Okay, that goes down. So I guess I needed to go left here. I mean, I guess if nothing else, we're definitely double checking all the all the rooms. Uh. Huh. All right. No, well, there's nothing even to go in that other direction. Is this not a weird trick I'm playing on myself here? Where is the up elevator? Because down here, I don't think I even dropped down at any point. Yeah, this is just the down elevator. I must be missing a door? I can't go left here. Go left or straight. If I go in here, there's nothing in here. So I go straight. And I can go left or straight. If I go left, 
Ah, here it is. Okay. I was very confused. All right. Oh, apparently we missed some enemies here? Somewhere? I mean, I appreciate that you're indicating that there are enemies around. I just wish you would also indicate what direction they're in. There was a arrow. Uh, yeah, that's where I just came out of, though. Okay, this is just down here. You can see up through those vent shafts up into the next area. Maybe they're up here now? Maybe me going down to that lower area triggered them somehow? It's the only thing I can think of. Well, eh, that'll work. We don't have whatever weapon that is. Also, he's not indicating that there's enemies around anymore. Which is strange. Did they blow themselves up with a grenade? We've seen that happen. It wouldn't be the first time. And I doubt it'll be the last time. Yeah, we're just back here at the entranceway. So, we know we have some floating enemies. I think we're missing at least one teddy bear right now. Which is curious. Okay. That goes back down. Came from and we double checked all of that down there so we know we didn't miss anything. Yeah, where is this enemy at? Okay, that's just the elevator that takes us back up to where we were. Okay, robot, you were telling me what's your name? I can't remember. Um, Floyd. Floyd, you were telling me there was enemies around here, and I got the on screen prompt to indicate that there were enemies someplace. What what happened to them? Ah, oh, a sultry saltine. Welcome. What's up, homies? Um playing some Jet Force Gemini. Have you have you partaken in the Jet Force Gemini? This was a uh, 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 board member recommendation. I have not. Ah, well you're kind of missing out. Um I'll show you why here in a second. We got to finish this level first. Um and then I will show you what you're missing out on. Um, it's, 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 it would be hard to predict what you're missing out on, not knowing about it. Um, let's just say that there is a, a unique playable character, um, that you unlock pretty quickly. Um, that, uh, it's not one you would traditionally see in a third person shooter. But boy, are they lovable. I will tell you that much. They've quickly become quite the fan favorite. Um, but a uh, 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 sultry saltine, how are you doing? You having a good uh, Tuesday? I believe you're in the States, so I think it's still Tuesday, wherever you are. I don't think there's any part of the United States that's into the next day yet. So. Okay, so now I just gotta be careful. Is it a hot dog with a face? I mean, Canada, but yes. Okay, yes. Okay, there's no part of Canada. I don't think that would be in tomorrow yet either. You are shockingly close though with the hot dog with a face. You're very close. You're very close. Okay, so that's one. That's two. Swear to God. Those other two better be up here. Corn dog, hamburger? Oh, you'll see. Okay, so he's 
need one more and please let it be in here. Are you in here? Oh, thank God you're in here. Good, 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 good. Good, we can just leave now. Thank God. I really didn't feel like spending a whole hour running around this one level. All right, let's get out of here. All right, area clear. Cool. We saved all the, the teddy bears. Oh, so a sultry saltine. Do you want to try to guess what the um, the lore is here? What's going on? Boil in your taste buds. Okay, so you asked for a corn dog with a, or a hot dog with a face, correct? Um, whenever you're ready to end this unskippable cutscene of me landing on this planet on you. Where to start guessing? Okay, good, good. I'm happy you're willing to accept that limitation of knowledge. So many people aren't. Um, we are playing as Team Jet Force Gemini, which is this woman. Um, I'm going to save. Uh, actually, I'm going to save state on that one. Um, uh, so we have, we have this one. And then we have the dude, Juno. Which is this fine gentleman here. He's immune to lava. He can walk on lava. It doesn't tell you that anywhere. You just have to kind of figure it out. Um, she can breathe underwater. They don't tell you that. You just got to figure it out. But the last thing you can... You, but the last character we have here is, in fact, close to a hot dog with a face. It is, in fact, a dog in a tank. So sort of like a tank with a face. That's right. The third character of the a dog in a tank. I dig it. Yeah. Yeah, originally he was running around on f on on his doggy feet with a gun on his back and we were calling him Turret Dog. But he then got an armor upgrade and now he's just a dog in a tank. So he is now dog in a tank. Um Um I don't remember where he's at though. Um Wherever you leave him is where he would be, so... Oh, okay. But yeah, he's just a dog in a tank. He drives around on, on tank treads. He can hover with his little floaty feet things. Um... He, uh, he is adorable and definitely everyone's favorite character. Still technically a dog with a turret, just, you know, he's also a tank, which supersedes, I think, just being a turret. Um, he's super adorable. When he goes into water, he uh, gets uh, pontoon floaties over where the treads should be. The <laughs> next upgrade has to be a, a dog in a mech suit. We did kind of joke about that um, with the dog from uh, Rick and Morty. That, that did come up a little bit. Um, you know, where are they, Summer? Where are they? Um, if you get that joke, you get it. If you don't, that's okay. You can probably Google it. Uh, yeah, so the, the problem I'm having right now is I've got to figure out where else I got to go and save all the teddy bears from. Because we're still, we're still collecting ship parts. Okay, we've done this one. Cerulean's done. Um... It looks like we've saved all of the SS Anubis. Spawn ship's done. OSR, welcome. Where are my... <laughs> yes, that one. That's the quote. I won't be saying them out loud, but yes, that's the quote. Where are they, Summer? Where are they? Yeah, that was allowed. I don't think I had to change anything. That I mean, technically, that's a, a, a scientific term describing that part of the uh, anatomy. Um, okay, so we still need some stuff off Goldwood. Yes, I remember that. Uh, abandoned Wreck is good. Water run Ruin is good. Peak is... Walkthrough is good. And so, uh, Mizar's Palace. Okay, we still need three on Mizar's Palace. And, oh, we need a lot of on Ikor. Twitch is a coward. 
I mean, they're, they're really weird about what they will and won't allow. Terra Threat. Shemet. Okay, we did Shemet. Uh, still around. Okay, we're back. We're back. So we need... Looks like we need Tawafert. Ikor. Oh, I think that's the reigning planet. And one layer... Chasm... And then Goldwood. Okay, so we've actually collected most of it now. But welcome, OSR. How are you doing? You having a good Tuesday? Hopefully work hasn't been too bad. <sighs> Boil in your taste buds. Um, Are they going to allow that, OSR? No. No, they're not. Um, it will, it will, in fact, censor the classic donkey punch. We will allow it, though. Why it censored that, I don't know. Uh, a salty saltine. Uh, OSR is on a on a uh, a one man crusade. Well, like one robot crusade. My apologies. A one robot crusade against uh, Twitch censorship, and is attempting to find every variation of Donkey Punch, um, that he can get get censored by the bots. So that's a it's a fun thing we do here. Um, do we got to do some food lore? We got Ica's food lore earlier, and my food lore. A salty saltine. What What have you eaten in your last meal? And uh, OSR. Same question. And let's go back to Goldwood, and then we can try to figure out how to get into the rim area. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But Vela's there, so we'll take Vela um, for the time being. Oh, wait, what? No, 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 no. Don't pause chat. Never pause chat. Chat should always be free-flowing and wondrous. All right, so we got to get back, back again. Okay, so we don't need to go underwater. I guess we just need to keep going forward instead. Take that fish with your giant eyeballs. Ow. Oh my god, really? Tutorials, everybody. Tutorials. Alright. Moving on. Now we don't need to go underwater for this one. See, look at how fast these ones die in comparison. Oh look, he already surrendered. Odd. Apparently heard us coming and decided to just give up. Oh, that was a close call with that teddy bear right there. I tell you what. I tell you what. Shoot it. You have lock on capabilities. Stop it. Thank you. God. And why you're making this so hard on, on me and you. On us, as it were. I just placed an order for a breaded chicken cutlet wrap. Boosted. Ooh, okay. That sounds pretty good. There's a place you can get that? Like, is it some kind of, like, local deli or something? Cause that sounds super fancy. Wait, what? Wait, what was that? I swear I just thought I saw some kind of blue thing come out. That must have been my hair at a weird angle or something. I think I've got all these these ones already. Because it should just be the interior the rim and then the interior. That's the only place we should need to go. I think. It's in my works dining facility. Oh, that's right. You want you have that really fancy cooking area where they uh they do the catering all the time, right? The fancy catering. That's how I describe fancy. It's just pinkies up. Hi. How are you? How are you? I hope you're dead. That's my preference for how you should be. 
Truly my preference for how I want them to be is just dead, please. One side of a dead? Oh. Basically harmless. I don't even think if they swung at you with their crude pickaxes that would actually do any damage to you. Jerk. Breaded chicken, spinach, red onion, banana peppers, pepper jack, and chipotle mayo in a one inch wrap. That sounds really, really good. Saved all the all the uh, the bears, so I really don't care about what else is going on here. I'm not here to kill all the bugs. I'm here to save all the bears. But that's done. So so are we. Real? You, excuse me, sir. You could have just left. You could still be alive. How do I get this? Excuse you? Jerk? God. Now, is that free or do you have to pay like a small like luncheon fee where it's like for a mere 250 you would get a sandwich that usually costs like $6. Oh, so to leave we're supposed to have the gold key which we already got. Oh, that makes more sense. I think the path we need to go down now is more the traditional actual exit. Because that's what took us to the lodge, which was that amazingly difficult area. I have to pay, it's about $5. Oh, that sounds, that's, that's reasonable, I would say. All in all, I would say that's pretty reasonable. <sighs> Boiling your taste buds. Like, if I were to try to go get something like that at my work, the closest thing would be the uh, snack bar at the ga or at the uh, uh, golf course. Um, it would probably be like eight bucks, I think. And it does it's not quite that fancy. It's good, it's very good, but it's not quite that fancy. I'm, it's kind of weird there's no enemies here right now. I feel like something has gone wrong. What is the Paris sponsorship? Oh, the Paris sponsorship, and, and this is the last day for this Paris sponsorship, day four here. There's a little bit smaller one is, uh, oh, let me, uh, let me zoom in. Um, Boylan Bottling Company, root beer with real cane sugar, sugar established 1891. It's very good. Boiling your taste buds since 1891. Oh, we have the robot with us, so we can go do this. I'm sure this is going to be lots of fun. Throw self in well with dynamite strapped to head. Now, uh, well, we'll try. Craft root beer is so good. Mm -hmm. Um, Before we, we sign off for the evening, though, we definitely... I mean, do you guys want to know? Do you want to know what the next pair of sponsorships going to be? Oh, screen. Sorry. Yes. Thank you. Because, I mean, I can go get it and show it off. Be right back.
Okay, so the next one's going to be... Henry Weinhard's Vanilla Cream Gourmet Soda with cane sugar. Natural and artificial flavors. That's right. We're going with a cream soda this time. Um, you can't prohibit genius. I assume this is a take at uh, Prohibition. Um, let's see. Any other interesting facts? Um, gourmet soda company from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, no establishment dates. Oh, here we go. Uh, our outstanding elixirs were a popular alternative for Henry Weinhard beer drinking during Prohibition. While the dry spell has ended, the era of gourmet soda has lived on. Our tradition of providing only the finest quality beverages continues to this day, and each bottle that bears our founder's name, Brewmaster. Henry, uh... Weinhard. Or Weinhard? Would that be Weinhard or Weinhard? Is that Weinhard? Henry Weinhard's? But is it spiked? No, I'm at I'm I'm at I'm at my constructed job. My contracted job. I can't be drinking on the job. It's not my birthday. Wine? Okay, you would go with... It's not wean hard, it's wine hard. Okay, that's what I was thinking too, but... You know, English isn't my, my best language. Oh, welcome back, Ika. Could be a V sound for the W, too, depending on if it's a German or originating name. Hmm. I don't know. But you know what I can say is that our current sp pair of sponsorship with uh, Boylan Bottle and Company um, with Real Cane sugar, sugar established in 1891 has been fantastic, and I recommend it to all the board members. Boil in your taste buds. Um, I will say it's a little pricier than maybe traditional soda, but it's worth it. This is a treat. This isn't something you just pop open and chug it because you're bored. No, no, this is something you you enjoy. You take it in. You let it breathe and then sous-saw. I don't, I don't know. Other fancy words for enjoying things. All right, everybody? All right. Oh, uh, so we'll try this. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna. If okay, Ika. I think last week we determined that we don't have to do all of these, so I probably won't. But we'll at least give it a shot and look at it and see what it's about. Okay. Collect four cases of metallic ore. Disable at least four power cells. Reach the finish in time allowed. God, I'm having nightmares. The flashbacks are already real. Now, I don't know what the power conductors are like. Oh, that's... That was unfortunate. That was a bad bounce, everybody. That was a bad bounce. This is the hardest one, apparently. Oh, God. Is this a required one, then? Ah. Left. Low. To the right. Only the first one you did for what I checked. Oh, okay, good.
god, how miserable this is. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. If this isn't required, I'm out. Boo, bumper cam. Boo. Yeah, that's a that that is a terrible thing. Yeah, it's 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 drunk flying a missile. Basically, it's pretty bad. Not well thought out. Not well executed. Unfortunately, as we've said, maybe back in the day when this first came out, it was it was great and everyone loved it, and that's fine. But I will say nowadays, not not top notch. No, no. I cannot, I cannot stand by and say that that was top notch. Oh good, this just opens. Okay. Okay, so where is this taking us? Oh, this is the interior. Okay, so we have several teddy bears to save in here. Good, I'm happy I didn't miss and shoot you. That would that would be bad. Oh, Ika, you, you're still a, a, a Project Zomboid guy, right? We've been watching, uh, me and the girlfriend have been watching a thousand day 10 part series on on surviving a thousand days in and project zomboid it's been interesting watching someone else play it and trying to understand like what i'm doing wrong and understanding how the like different settings work and what they accomplish and don't accomplish yeah i've been watching that from from the start Start? Oh, oh, we mean when it first got, like, in actual canonical order? I don't remember the guy's name who is, who's doing it. Um, he seems nice enough, I guess. Some of the things he says is a little, I don't know, rude, but outside of that, I think he's fine. Okay, so how do I get you? Should I have been the dog when I came here? Is that correct answer? I appreciate some of the mods he's running. Um, though some of them are very silly. Like the selection of weapons that you can find in the world is absurd. Like some of them are like obscure World War II era like submachine guns that you wouldn't find anywhere but in like a museum and stuff. But outside of that, what, what the, the mods he's running seem pretty good. Ow. Well, that, that was unfortunate. He perfectly hit me with that. Which was impressive. Whoa. Oh. Really? There's like... Okay, that works. I wouldn't call that optimal, but I'm going to call it effective. Yeah, it's, it's made me tempted to try Zomboid again. The guy who survived 10 years without mods on Apocalypse difficulty. Oh, see, that seems insane. So, like... Got him. Um, I don't know, like... Watching people play it, there's something I clearly don't quite understand about, like, some aspect of it. But watching people play it and understanding how routinely you are, in fact, ambushed does make me feel a little bit better. But it makes me feel a little worse because it seems like I'm doing combat. And there's another wave of them. I think these are the ones that shoot, like, hit me really hard. Look 
luckily these ones aren't so bad. And that health recovery is very minimal, though. For combat, the answer is mostly nimble. Oh! Didn't realize that was an uh, insta-kill. Boil in your taste buds. So the answer is mostly nimble. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's just been curious to watch. Okay. So I'm thinking, I guess I would have had to have been the dog here. So I can hover across, maybe? Oh, come on, really? Keen hearing helps a lot, but mostly nimble. Oh, oh my god! I do not remember this being this difficult. Well, good that that opened, but that doesn't do me a lot of good. I can't get over there. Nibbles lets you move faster when in combat stance. Around four or five, you start moving about as fast as zombies normally do. You continuously backpedal and fight. Oh, interesting. Okay. Watching him also um, answered some questions I had about ideas I was wondering, which was nice. Stuff like, um, can you use... Can you use um, windows to make un like zombie-proof areas on a second floor? And you can. Apparently, it's deemed boring to do that, but it is totally doable. So that's good. Of course, leveling it up before that makes a big difference too. Level one nibble is 10% faster than zero nibble. After that, it's a 4% bump each, each, each. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Also, he can't drive, everybody. Um, Project Zomboid has vehicles in it, and uh, it has a pretty good realistic, a pretty realistic uh, physics engine for the most part. Um, and he's really bad at driving. Like, he just doesn't quite... He doesn't respect the dangers that the, the post-apocalyptic world present to him. Um, when it comes to driving. I mean, maybe he's doing it for comedic effect, which, good on him. That's a tough sacrifice to give up a good functioning vehicle. Just for the joke of every episode, he crashes a couple of cars. Oh, good. We got all of 60 machine gun ammo there. No. Lower. Not that low. Well, that might work. No. No. Oh, we got him. Okay, cool. Oh, and you dropped a full health. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. I mean, there's water here, but I don't know if I actually need the water for anything. Another part of this is that the nimble loot is ludicrously difficult to level. When you start with a point and a skill, you get an XP bonus to it. Base XP rate is 0.25 plus 1, or 0.25. Plus 1 to skill adds 75. So if you start with a plus 1 nimble, you're already 10% faster than most players in combat stance and level it up 4% faster. Wow. That's definitely a good one to start with. Then. Okay, that's all of them. Oh, thank God. I thought I'd missed some, but no, 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 no. We got them all. And we're about to leave. Perfect. Four, four times faster, not 
Yeah, you level up four percent. Oh, four times as fast. Yes, gotcha. Sorry, I miss. I misspoke. Wait, that's the end of the planet. That doesn't seem correct. Oh, uh, boiling your taste buds, by the way. I guess I'm gonna have to switch the dog and come here as the dog and then hope I can hover across that long gap. Because otherwise I don't know how to get into the interior. I think the highest I've gotten nimble is up to five, and that's with a starting point in it. Oh, okay. Uh, I need to be Lupus, the tank dog, everybody. Um, sure, save. Actually, saving's not a bad idea, now that I think about it. Uh, okay. But I don't need you on the Shemet. I need you to be other places that aren't the Shemet, which are... Goldwood. Icker, we gotta go back to too, but. And Torferit. Torf Boiling your taste buds. One thing I found funny though about that playthrough is he was quite upset with foraging mode but I think it's like episode 4 or so he, he's in foraging mode but he doesn't look like he actually has foraging mode turned on mm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get across that gap in the tank I find it odd that the tank, um... Wait, what? What? Um, sort of undulates like a dog breathing, like that, that quick pant a dog has. Uh, oh, he also strafes a little slower. I guess that makes sense. He is a tank, not a human with legs. I guess let's crush the ant. Luckily, we got all the teddy bears out of here, so. Oh, look, he didn't drop his weapon this time. How odd. There we go. I'll take care of it. I really think Zomboys should rework their XP gain rates on some of the skills. Because some of them you, you can train way faster than others if you're in the same general category. For example, Nimble and Sneak are in the same category and all you need to, to level up Sneak really fast is just crouch near big hordes and it goes up super fast. Right. There's no way to like enhance the the uh, effect of, of Nimble, right? Like, where like if you're just sneaking by a big horde that you're getting a lot of XP because you're Technically sneaking past like 18 zombies at a time, right? But with Nimble, there's no way to like nimbly dodge 18 zombies at the same time. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Oh, wait, what? Is another one? Dang, this thing is just wrecking. Maybe the dog does extra damage with his basic cannon. Cause he's a tank. This is another big gripe. You get about two, two times more XP for strength and fitness. We kind of just always had it that way. Oh. I mean, what's so? What's the difference? Is fitness like aerobic, like your your stamina, whereas strength is just lifting things? Well, 
Is that the argument that it's harder to build stamina than is strength? With strength, you just kind of lift weights. Whereas with fitness, you have to be going out and doing like wind sprints. Oh, I didn't realize how badly hurt we were actually there too. I was Tokyo drifting everywhere. Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift 2 Dog Tank. Just, that's what it's called. It's just called Dog Tank. Oh, wait. Maybe I needed to go up here? Wait, does this take me to the interior? Where does this take me? Jerk. Oh, okay, we've been here. That'll work. Let's see if there's any ammo we actually need here. Ah, machine gun ammo. Sure. I always use a little bit, a little top off on machine gun ammo. get across that gap. More machine gun ammo. Fitness is stamina and sleepiness. Some other stuff like minor speed boost and less stumbling slash fence, fence fa fails. Strength is combat damage, carry weight, and also fence fails. Ah. Oh. Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift 2, Dog Tank. Tokyo drifting everywhere. The police couldn't stop him because he was so adorable. Every time they got close, they would just bend down and get him lots of pets because he was a really good boy. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to get to the interior. save on the machine gun ammo, but whatever. You jerks. Okay, full machine gun ammo. Great. No reason to hold back now. Dang, he has a lot of holding capacity for machine gun ammo, too. Like, a lot. Do I even have... Oh, I do, but I have, like, no ammo for it. Oh! Oh, actually, three. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, that's where it chose to stop. I'm kind of okay with it. Looks like everybody's dead. Let's move on. Also, it's not exactly that way for... That way for Nimble uh, Cell Tier. Wait, what? I'm not a Project Zomboid. I'm but a mere human. I have never survived a Zombo apocalypse. Really? Really? Re really? Shoot him! God. His pistol. His pistol, though. It needs. It needs a bit of the, of the, of the work. I'll tell you what. Um, you train nimble, but just in walking combat steps. The difference is that you gain it like decimals, so like 0.10 every 10 to 15 seconds of walking in combat stance or something. For sneaking, if you have a big enough crowd, it's 
more like 10 seconds or maybe even 100 XP per second. Right. You can use the multiply the multiply uh, multiplier of more zombies to increase sneak, but there's no way to increase the multiplier of, of nimbleness because there's nothing to there's no multiplier aspect to it, right? See what they should do is is the higher up you're doing nimble stuff, then the the um, that's your multiplier. So you want to be on like a third floor doing nimble stuff. Um, and that acts, acts as a multiplayer because it's adding in the effect of, like, the height, um, the, like, the fear of heights and the added, uh, drama of that. Does that make sense? Or some other thing you can do, like build a tightrope and like start tightrope walking in your base to add the amount of like fitness you can build up. Because if it's supposed to act as like a mix of dexterity and stamina. Okay, so I gotta be able to get over there to get to the interior. Or something. Pistol ammo. Basically useless. I'd say yes, but nibble has nothing to do with tripping or falling at gymnastics. It's more strength slash fitness. Oh. Okay, here's one. Here's one. Ica. How about this? You set up um like not a speed bag. But, I don't know, I don't think we have one anywhere here. But the, uh, like, ball on a, on a, on a, um, elastic string that you punch it, and it swings out and then swings back out, and you gotta dodge it? What if you could set up something like that, and then working on that gave you a multiplier on top of your normal, like, sneaking around? Like, your normal nimble stuff that you normally do. So it's like a, a workout routine specifically about like being dodgy and working on like head movement and stuff. Does that make sense? You're building yourself like a little obstacle course. Would that would that make some amount of sense as like a way to train that with a multiplier? Okay. So wait, we saved? Save save. Okay. Can the dog float all the way over there? Yes, yes he can. Barely, but he can in fact do it. Okay, great. So this should be the last area here we need to go and get stuff. Oh, machine gun, perfect. Don't care about the tribals. We already collected all the tribals. We just need to do whatever this area is. Ah, oh, the wait rim. Wait. I thought we already did the rim. Or did we do the interior? Maybe we did the interior, and now I have to do the rim. Oh yeah, this is like a, a tougher area. Interesting. And, uh, robots. Well, I'm happy I, I leveled up, or, uh, I healed up before I came in. like a dog specific area since he would be the only one who could like hover all the way down and we still got to save all the teddy bears so far I don't think I've killed any so that's good
drifting everywhere. Um, taking cover behind the explosive barrel is usually a frown spot as a strategy. Not always, but a lot of the time. I need that ammo. I can go. Grab that health. Okay, so, so far the devs have been pretty reluctant to add any equipment to aid in training physical skills based on anything you can't read a skill book for. So I think just upping the XP rate of the lower ones would make more sense. Because even though they did add gym equipment, it still takes forever to level up fitness. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, hey. I'm going to snag them first. So that they don't get hit by, like, falling debris, which is an actual threat we have to be concerned with. Because those explosions, when they fall down, will hit the, hit the bears, unfortunately. Learned that the hard way. some ammo. Ah, oh, that one got away. Grab the head. Grab the ammo. Die. Go down. Go down. Where did, oh, there it is. Where'd the ammo go? But yeah. So I would say some something like that would probably work good for Nimble. So it seems like Nimble is meant to be sort of a defensive skill in melee. Yeah, I mean, in real life, I guess that'd be kind of hard to practice since it would kind of requires other people. Since that basically, that's just rustling. Oh, hi. Good thing I didn't hit you with any straight bullets. You can be hit with all the straight bullets I have. Movement speed in melee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see that. Like, or like shadow boxing. Like movement speed in melee is basically just what shadow boxing is. It's practicing moving while in a combative stance. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't aim while I'm doing this? Really? That's unfortunate and lame. Take that. Wait, can you not see me? How strange. How terribly unfortunate. Wow, what a perfectly fun grenade. I think leg weights would make more se make sense, but I wouldn't see the devs act. I mean, kind of. I could actually see that probably being more for fitness, because it just makes your general movement harder. I, I don't think um, that would work so well for, like, getting faster in a stance. I think it should just be something like how you can do push-ups and sit-ups. You can also just do like shadow boxing that teaches you movement in a in a stance. You found the shocker. It looks like you're responsible for its first field test. I'm pretty sure someone else has that too. I think Vela has it. I think. Oh. 
But yeah, it definitely sounds like they need to just work on their multipliers a little bit. Or like figuring out their leveling system. Is there a way to adjust like XP gain as a, a world option when you design the world? Or is that all set? Like have hard, like hard coded? Oh, he blew himself up. And the other one. Fuck. I'm not really sure what, what options you have to play with when you start a new world. I know every time I play, I just start with the default. The options that say, this is the difficulty originally designed for... Um, you. This is kind of hard. Effective, but maybe a little too damaging. You can, but it's applied to everything, so the skills that do level up fast would basically hit 10 instantly. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so, I mean, I do whatever, I guess, the default original concept for a Project Zomboid was for difficulty. I don't know if that's high or low or what. It seems super hard to me, because I can... Very rarely make it past, like, day 10, but... It always seems like around day 6 or 7 is when the hunter zombies start showing up. Which I know aren't a thing, but are definitely a thing in that difficulty setting. Because I know for a fact some of those zombies will just come sprinting at me. Out of nowhere, like, they know exactly where I am and they want me dead. Like, someone paid them a, a hefty, hefty fee to put me down in the dirt. Oh, I got some. Okay, cool. Uh, what? I, I, I humbly disagree? That'll work. If they add NPCs, it will probably get better since I could just start dumping more skills and stuff and forcing NPCs to do it for me. It depends on how NPCs work, though, right? I mean, they've been working on NPCs for quite a while, haven't they? I feel like, besides cars, which finally got added, that was the next thing on the list. More starting points into stuff like nimble. Wait, what? Let me get better since I could just start dumping more skills and stuff and forcing NPCs to do it for me. Then putting more starting points into stuff like nimble. Oh, okay. They're gonna do animals as a sort of in between first? Oh, okay, so. Interesting. Like, uh. Hmm. So, like pets or. Like bears, which traditionally is not seen as. Oh, okay. well, we took a lot of damage there, but apparently that works. So. Okay, that actually did cause a, a chain reaction. Not always seen, but all right. Appreciate it. More. See, part of the problem with fighting the robots is they don't drop ammo. So if I use the good weapons on them, I don't get ammo back. I only really heard about stuff for domesticated animals, but maybe they'll add others. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I'm sure that would be cool 
I mean, to have, like, pets back at base would probably be nice. Or maybe being able to set up, like, guard dogs to guard your base while you're gone or asleep. So if zombies do get in, they just don't instantly kill you in your sleep or something, but... I can sing that being nifty. Oh my god, really? There's this... Why is this the situation? Why? Why did you think this was good or fun? Stop it with the... Oh my god, the robots though. More robots. Never enough robots. What, you didn't know? Besides Jet Force Gemini, you're also playing Galaga? The Space Invaders? At the moment, zombies aren't allowed to kill you in your sleep. Really? How, do, well, how does that work when they get a hold of you in your sleep? Do you just wake up and they're in the room with you, or...? Oh. Oh. See, they could just bum rush me more often. That's way more effective than shooting at me. Oh, it's a giant Terminator boss. Didn't expect that, but all right. All right, that'll work. Hopefully. Oh, there's another one. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get the... Oh no, that was just part of its head. I needed the health. They wake up, they wait for you to wake up like proper gentlemen. Wow, that's very silly. That seems so odd to me. Of all the other things they've got in there, they really won't let the zombies kill you in your sleep. Seems really strange. Oh, they both died? You killed both of them? You... Oh my god. How am I supposed to avert that? He threw a grenade on top of them. What am I supposed to do about that? Uh, I can't even... S I guess I'd have to go over here and then like shoot him from a distance? Are you... I had to do this whole thing over again. Just because of that piece of garbage there's still a lot of there's a, a lot of silly stuff in zombie they used to allow zombies to spawn in your room as you slept or see your character awake great I have to do this all over again more ro more robots who doesn't love the robots, everybody? They don't drop any ammo or health. Hooray, robots!
even if you were asleep in like a floating cow. Oh, okay. So it was really silly. Wow, I cannot believe he just gets to throw a grenade right at them and that's it. There's nothing else you can do about it. That's insane to me. I'm not even sure what the best way to go to go about restarting this is. I guess I need to go someplace and heal. There's nothing here? That's odd. I kind of assumed there would be enemies or something. Uh, the thing is that the night zombies can hear you flick a light switch from about a block away. So if you rapidly flick the switch at night, there's a great way to call a horde to you. What? Why is that a thing? Like, what was the thought process behind that? Oh, well, here's a ship, I guess. Cool. Yep, those are the last two we needed, and he just blew them up with a grenade. Boiling your taste buds. See, it's stuff like that. The rapidly flicking a light switch causes. There's stuff happening. I didn't realize that. Oh, is this him planning the asteroid strike? He only missed happy families of bears. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, is that Earth being destroyed? Oh, oh, it's their planet being destroyed. But... Oh, okay. Wait, what? How? Hold on a second. I'll be right back. I don't know what is going on. Alright, sorry about that. 
Yeah, apparently the water filter needs to be changed on the uh, water cooler. Is gonna drink this tea instead. This is some caffeine free, zero sugar tea. Ugh, I forgot I left that in there. Oh, huh, that's the last a while. It says it's good until best if used by September 27th, 2022. That's a lot of time. You only missed happy family. Okay, character building. Yes, character building. All right. So, what? Am I saving you? Is that what's going on here? So, we unlocked another planet, or is this just another area on this same planet? Because I don't like either of these options. Oh, wait, we've been here, isn't this? Yeah, haven't we done this? Yeah, then there's this guy who we, I'm pretty sure we've talked to. Right? You got something different to say? This is terrible. Have you seen it? The swine Mizar is, is out for revenge. Those asteroids are playing havoc with gold, Goldwood's orbit. We need to, to fire up the generator in the quarry and blast them out of the sky. Trouble is... Rebels can't get in stocked with gems quickly enough. If you could blast some gems into the vault vacuum at the front, you might be able to get enough power flowing to clear up the, the up this mess. I'd really appreciate your help. Come and let me know when you're you succeeded. As I I have no doubt you will. All the same, I think I'll just watch from here. Wow. All right. So I guess this is a different thing. Also, I'm basically out of health. Oh, perfect. I need to be healed, please. That dog, though. He is... Dog... Tank dog is very, uh... I guess warm in that outfit. Um, that'll be fine. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I think there was something in there. Hold on. Blarg. Go back in. Go back in. No, go back in. Oh, I guess not. It was just the weird way the wall is shaped. All right. All right. Well, at least we have, they're all just, like, right here. So I guess this is a boss fight of some sort. Or maybe not? I don't know what it means by blow up gems to feed them into the thing. That's not something I've ever done before. Wait. So wait, am I supposed to shoot them? Uh, oh, I guess so. I assume there's some kind of secret time limit on how long I can take doing this? Is this working? Okay, looks like it's gonna vacuum them up on their own. Okay. That one just fell off. Gems, please? Oh, there we go. Their hitboxes are a little wonky. I'll tell you what. Haha, -ha, that actually. Oh, it didn't work! I thought that was gonna work, it didn't quite work. Alright, well, anytime you're ready for the next badge. Yeah, 
the hitboxes on that on these are a little long. Whoa! And the physics also a bit wonky. Hey, remember how I said the the shooting isn't precise? This is kind of what I'm talking about. Oh, that one disappeared. I guess it took too long. Apparently these gems evaporate. Really? That one's too far away, I guess. Not quite what I was expecting. There, that's better. This is a weird thing to do, by the way. Just so we're all clear, this is a very strange method for this. At this point, it'd probably make more sense just to hook up like a trailer and attach it to the tank. And then the, just have Tank Dog pull it around. You know what I mean? Okay, I mean, I'm ready for the next bundle when you all are. Honestly, I think this is a pretty awful module. Sorry to card if he's lurking. It's not terrible. It's, it's just reeks of problems of its time. No explanation, odd choices. Apparently the control scheme is much better on the actual N64 with the N64 controller. So, I mean, part of that's probably the problem is that... Really? Okay, there we go. Is that I'm trying to use a modern kind of generic, uh, like, PlayStation knockoff controller as opposed to an authentic original N64 controller. You know what I mean? I can understand why people loved this as when they were younger. I don't think it holds up very well, unfortunately. But we'll be done with it someday, and then we'll, we'll move on. I don't know to what. I, I'd have to look and see what we've got for... Uh, Speedy things, stuff for the uh, action uh, Tuesday stuff, but I'm sure there's something in there. Dang, how many crystals do I gotta load into this stupid tank? It's also strange to me that your field, your like field projector, your uh, force field projector, is also a tank. I don't know. Also, I don't know if I'm succeeding. Like the beam seems to be getting bigger, but I don't have a timer on the screen to tell me if I'm doing this fast enough or not. So I hope, I'm hoping I am. I just, I don't know. Have you uh, have you ever heard of uh, Ghost of Tsushima? It's a PlayStation exclusive third-person action thing. It got a lot of uh, attention when it was first announced, but after that, it, it, it I don't know, it kind of fell off. Like people talked about how great it was, but then I never really heard about it again. I've been thinking about playing that. But since it's a PlayStation thing, I'm mean, gonna I guess you just have to get a capture card and bring in the pl my own PlayStation. Oh, it's by the same devs who did Infamous. Oh, okay. I, I was I didn't know that. I remember hearing that it had a good dev team. I just didn't realize it was the same one. I played a little bit of it. Um, 
And it was really good, but I felt bad for the main character. I mean, I don't want to get too spoilery, but he, he basically is starting to go through some existential crisis of his understandings of what, like, honor is. Char yes, maximum character building, Ika. Completely your style of character building, by the way. Um, basically, he was raised on, like, the Bushido code of honorable combat. Then he has to go to war and find out that war isn't honorable combat. <laughs> and he has a lot of, like, existential dread and, and thought about that concept. Of, like, wait, no, this is how you know, combat works, and then everyone's like, no, it's not, unless you want to be killed instantly. He's like, wait, what? They do some really great stuff with it, though. But yeah, and it really, like, hit me. I'm like, wow, I feel really bad for this guy. He is, he is learning that the way he was raised to, like, live his life was actually kind of a, a, a push, uh, like, a a facade of what it actually means to be in these situations. It was like being raised like a true cowboy and then finding out like the first time you get into a gunfight that actually fighting like a cowboy is a really bad idea. Like, oh no, you should take cover and not use a six gun and... Did we succeed? Oh, I think we, we succeeded. energy beam to power a satellite that acts as a defensive defense system oh okay that's not what I was expecting I was thinking more of a planetary force field system oh, did that one get through or was that just remainders falling through the atmosphere Oh, it's lifting off. It's going back to its home planet where it's needed. <laughs> it literally just flew away into a into a warp bubble. Well, fantastic, everybody. I don't know why we did it, but we did it. Are you still bringing gems? Why? The thing left. Apparently we can't pick up the green ones. Alright, well, we did that, everybody. What a bizarre thing that was. There was no countdown on that, by the way. I just needed to do it. So, harrowing stuff. Tokyo drifting everywhere. All right, dude, you got a reward for me or something you were talking about? Sir, I need to talk to you. Ooh, ladies intra abandoned some bots, eh? Fantastic, another legendary victory for Jet Force. Hurrah, hurrah, sorry. I'll calm down. Well, everything's back to normal thanks to your ass. You risking so much for our little corner of the galaxy. Old Mazar must be really worried. It's the first time any of us have ever seen that tyrant on the run. If you want to stop him for good before he reaches Earth, you'll probably need this. Please, take it. Thanks, Magnus. Thanks, just what we... That's just what we've been looking for, says the dog. Dang, four bots? Before you spend a piece... Before you spend a piece of some of the strange spaceship... Space... Spacecraft. It looks a little old and worn. I must be on my way, thank you. Okay. Dang! Flat Earther channel is... Wow. Two, four, six of them now. Where are the bots coming from suddenly? What the heck? Seven. Two, four, six. Seven of them. Seven of them. Eight. 
<laughs> Just Sony Playstations, what? Nine, three, six. Yeah, that's nine bots. All done. Well, thank you, ladies. Intra. Can we get some bonks in chat for all the bonks that was just delivered to those bots? Dang. Oh. So wait, this is. There we go. Thank you, Ica. Ladies, intro. Thank you. Okay, so that was a weird side mission. All right, well, we'll just go do this area again and hope we can save. I guess before I go down that tunnel, what I can do is I can just save state. Straight up, I'm, I'm well beyond caring about save stating and save scumming and all that stuff. All oh, the bonks. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm very much beyond caring about, uh... Save stating and save scumming. I I'm fine with it. If this module's gonna start cheating like that, then I'm perfectly fine with, um... Cheating back in the only way I can, which is meta, technically. You didn't see this one coming, did you, jerks? You didn't expect some guy 20 years later to be playing through your module? Oh, well, took that one out. That's okay, though, because um, we already saved you. <laughs> you don't, we're not worried about saving you again. I'll save you, just because I'm here. Okay, so I think... Yeah, that was the side one there, this way. Okay. I don't, I don't even care a little bit. Let's keep moving. So we gotta go this way, and then we gotta go through the door on the bottom. And then... Man, I, I bet in the remaster... Um, I bet his tank treads actually visibly move. Okay, so going up... Didn't accomplish anything. And it was going, I think, through that other door, right? Okay, that's just the bot thing, and I don't care about that, because it's not relevant to ending the module. All we would unlock is, like, a shooting gallery or something, which is something, I guess, but not our primary concern. here. Go through this. Should fight our way through a little bit of jungle, and then we have to go over a giant ravine, and then we're into a tunnel. It's really interesting that they have you circle back like this. Uh, on these levels you've already been to. It's an interesting choice, honestly. Like, coming back to this, the starting planet like this, but then going to the areas you couldn't get to before somehow increases, like, the amount of, uh, or the, the quality of ant you're fighting. It's very interesting, I think. Let's go down. Thank you. It's an interesting choice, I should say. Really? Just pulled that off, huh? Now you're dead. 
How does that feel, idiot? Give me your gun. Your gun has delicious, delicious machine gun ammo in it. Ow! Uh, stop it with that. You jerk. Do I get a plasma cannon? Oh, I guess that was enough. Okay. Give me his big head. That big head should be worth what? Like, five of the small heads? And yes, that matters, because that's apparently how you unlock all the cheat codes. Are you gonna... Are you go get a, a, a game genie. You get the module genie. They don't make those anymore. Those are a nifty little thing. Back, back, way back when. And they allowed you to just cheat. You can just straight up cheat. By unlocking, like... I know, I, you can't crawl. I know, I go. Ika, are you, do you know what a game genie is? I mean, now I guess, I guess we would call it a, a module genie, but, you know. You know, back in the day. Dang, this is a lot of robots. I mean, you're pretty young, Ika. I don't know. Nope? Oh, okay. So, back in the day, you could buy a device, and this is actually really interesting. You could probably look them up. You could buy a device for your N6, or, uh... I think you could get them for the N64 still. But for your Super Nintendos, regular Nintendo, your Segas, um, I think PlayStation had a couple of them. Weird. Crony is playing pathologic. What? A. Ugh. I'm over here trying to set. I'm over here setting trends and getting none of the none of the the recognition. I'll tell you what. Um. But yeah, it was a uh, uh, it was a third-party device, and basically what you would do is like, you know, how Super Nintendos, you would plug the the container into the, or the uh, cartridge into the top. What you would do is you would place this device in, into the cartridge en entrance, and then put the cartridge on top of it, and then when you started it up, it would ask you to basically do some really simple programming. So, Jerry, I've got no idea who Crony is, so you're. So you're more famous to me. Aw, well thank you, Ika. Crony is a, a VTuber from Hollow Live English. She's she's cool. I enjoy her stuff. Oh, we barely made that. Oh my god. Oh, I have to. Um Yeah, so you would turn it on and it would basically prompt you to install the um command prompts that you wanted to apply to the module you were playing. So like, for example, if you wanted to play Earthbound, a Super Nintendo uh, uh, module, what you would do is you would plug the device in and then you would have a book that has a list of all the things you could program it to unlock for you in Earthbound. So you could program it to say, your characters don't take damage. Or you could program it to do like you have unlimited money or whenever you cast a spell it doesn't cost mana right um, stuff like that or uh, unlock all the items that you f that you collect over the whole course of, of playing it you unlock right away and it's just unlocked at the beginning stuff like that basically um, and that way you could play through things. For me, as a as a child, it was nice because I mean I'm a little kid, so I'm I'm not particularly good at this. Um, so I could just turn on infinite health or infinite ammo or whatever, and just run around blowing things up with a rocket launcher. You're not supposed to have until the end. Um, so I mean, there's that. Uh, and and they had like I said, there was a variation for each of the consoles basically up until I think. Maybe PlayStation 2? I want to say PlayStation 2, Sega Dreamcast. Um, 
the GameCube, I think. I don't think any of those had them. Because at that point, you started being able to do stuff online. And the, 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 the companies behind the consoles didn't want people to be able to use these third-party things to cheat at the online stuff. So basically, online killed the, the Game Genie or whatever. I think Game Genie or Game Shark. I think Game Shark was the other one. I think the Game Shark was the one you would use on like your PlayStation, which worked the same as kind of a different way. You would put the, uh, the the disc in, tell it what stuff you wanted it to do, then take the disc out, and then put the, the the module you were playing in, and then start it up. That one was a little weird because I remember I had one version, like version eleven, but I think when I was trying to play through Resident Evil three. You needed version like 15 of the software for the Game Shark to actually be able to do all of the uh, the codes for Resident Evil 3. So only one I think I could do was like infinite health and like extra ammo or something weird like that. Uh... Yeah, little uh, nostalgia trip there for for your youngins. Who don't know about the the stuff and the things. Back in my day, if we wanted to cheat, we just, you know, had to hook up a special device to the to the console. We couldn't just, you know, you know, hit a button and hit another button and it was ready to go. And I guess what it did was um, it would access basically the programmer's menus for whatever you were playing and allow you to alter things that way. Um, and that was the base idea of why, how it worked and why. Which I find interesting. No, I'm gonna say like, is that not? I'm curious on how tight the hit detection on this is. It seems like it's pretty good. Like, if I hit the arm, not the shield, it counts that as a hit, so. Blur official, welcome, Gideon to you. How long is, is, the, is the module? Um, it's a, it's been a doozy. I think we're probably on part six or seven. Minus some technical issues, I would say at least six parts. We are getting towards the end, finally, though. Thank goodness. Um, I think we've got two more planets we've got to finish collecting teddy bears on. Which is a weird thing to say, but how else are we going to save Earth from space bugs? But we're at least playing as everyone's favorite... Oh, okay, yeah, these are the ones I gotta rush in and save them before I shoot the ship. But how you doing, Blur Official? I saw you were uh, uh, streaming a little bit earlier before I uh, uh, I started streaming. What, what were you up to? Am I doing 100%? No, I am just attempting. In order to finish this, you have to collect every bear one time and exit the level with them. Um, that's how you get the final ship uh, part for your spaceship. So if I want to actually be able to finish this and get the ending, I have to collect every single teddy bear and every single stage at least one time. It's kind of crazy. Not to mention all the other nonsensical stuff we have to do. Played Road 96. Or I assume that's Road and not E-Road. I guess you could play like... I played Road 96, pretty good module, and I'm well. How are you? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Kind of a long day for me, but not too bad all all. Mess up the sentence, oh, you're fine. You're doing it as well as I do it, ask Ika. I mean, if when I was trying, if I was, you know, not any worse than I would say. Uh, what? So what is Road 96 though? Are you like, is that like truck simulator? Is this? German German truck simulator? Were you driving, I don't know, 
15 tons of, uh, I don't know, toilet paper across German, the German, I don't know, countryside or what? noises. I get it. Okay, okay. It's a road trip with nice consequences. You're basically a multiple hitchhiker and try to flee the country. Oh, okay. Interesting. I gotcha. I gotcha. Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, I can't shoot in the water. Knock it off, please. No, no, be dead. Be dead. Thank you. God. Okay, okay. So, there's like two directions you had to go. Oh, good, good. There is actually a teddy bear over here. Hello, little bear person. Like Detroit, but rather political. Oh, okay, okay. Huh, that could be interesting. Is it, I mean, whose politics is it? US politics or like the EU's politics? Always curious about stuff like that. Cause I feel like there's so many modules that focus on US politics, but European politics would be just as interesting. I mean, you got different countries with different belief systems bumping heads. Over here, it's just like stupid people fighting over stupid things. It feels like US and Canada, but it's called Petria. Oh, okay. So it's kind of fictional, but referential perhaps. That makes sense. That's always probably the safe bet. That way you don't, you don't, you don't overemphasize the wrong things in a, about a country and actually start insulting people. I get that. That makes sense. No, 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 back. I forgot there's no way to go backwards if I'm not aiming. Oh, you know what? Have you ever played uh, Papers, Please? Whenever I think of like over the top uh, politics. It's on Xbox. Oh, okay, Xbox Game Pass. Okay, cool. We've talked about, pick I've talked about picking that up. That was a grenade. That was a, a bad choice for grenade time. Yeah, it feels like in the uh, DDR or Cold War. Oh, really? So it's older than that. Oh, interesting. So we gotta go that way. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds really interesting. I could see that maybe being like a Tuesday thing, something we kind of chill out to. Okay, so we're missing one. East Germany when you wanted to flee to West Germany. Papers, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Papers, please. Yes. I thought you were talking about... Okay, yeah. I thought you were still talking about the road thing. Okay. No, Papers, please was awesome. Played a lot of that. I mean, it's so crazy that you would take such a simple idea of, like, something boring you do as, like, a real-life job and then turn it into something that interesting, you know? It's impressive. Oh, down. Okay, 
Ain't nobody got time for all this bug nonsense. Oh, so when when are you uh, doing your next painting stream? It's really hard sometimes to make decisions. And yes, yes. I mean, that's that's the crux of it, right? Is like figuring out like, am I willing to trade this person who may or may not have really been a bad person, but put them in jail anyways because it would earn me like an extra ten bucks so I could, you know, send my kid to the doctor or whatever. That was very interesting. If you emphasize with people, I guess that's true. Ika, have you played Papers, Please? I feel like with your unique brand of uh, character building, you probably would have a much easier time just uh, getting through that. Nope. Oh. Do you know what we're talking about? Have you ever heard of Papers, Please? Oh, oh, um, uh, 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 yep, oh, okay. Blur Official, I had a question. Since you did do the painting streams, I have I have a weird question. Do you know who Bob Ross is? I have to finish it soon because I want to do some free painting. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, do you know who Bob Ross is? Uh, he did the, the, the painting show with the, the crazy hair from back in like the 70s. Of course it, okay, fantastic. Okay, I have a weird idea, I have a weird idea. Me and my friends do this thing, I haven't done it in a long time, but we used to do this thing where we basically have like a Bob Ross painting day or like painting party where we'd all drink some alcohol and um, basically we would try to paint Bob Ross paintings, like watch his video and try to paint them in real time. In the beginning, I dressed like him, but it's too hot in here. <laughs> fair. That's very fair. You got to kind of adapt. That would be awesome. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that was a fun one. I haven't done that in a long time. My birthday is coming up. Maybe I'll do it for my birthday. But that's a fun one. When is my birthday? It is uh, July 30th. Coming up here in a couple of weeks. I've requested the day after off from one of my jobs, so that's good. I do plan to, to indulge in a bit of the alcoholic beverage. Not not a ton. I don't like getting like super wasted or anything. It's not my style, but... I mean... Ika, what about you? Would you would you be interested in watching me drink alcoholic beverages and try to do a Bob Ross painting? That's really close. Yeah, yeah. I will be turning the ripe age of 34, or uh, 35. 35. I am 34 now. It'd be interesting. Oh, okay. We got the, the, the spaceship. I forgot about the spaceships. Okay, okay. Wait. Oh, I do have the sniper rifle. That's sort of a thing, right? That's a little more precise. There we go. Good, perfect. Just line right up into the where I need you to be. The night before I will go to Limp Biscuit Con to they finally come back here. Oh, that's cool. God, I haven't been doing I, I I'm not a, a big music person. Um, so I don't really go to concerts much, but the couple I've been to have been okay. Been to a, a Rob Zombie concert and a What was the other one? Oh, <laughs> The other one I went to way back in high school, and that was a uh, Funk Junkies concert. That was a whole ordeal. That was a really, that was a messed up day. I tell you what, it was an outdoor venue in in Arizona. Uh, 
in the summer. So it was like 90 or plus degrees out. You couldn't leave once you came in. Bottles of water were like six bucks. Well, they are really just blowing themselves up here. Huh? And that must be great as well. Be wait, 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 wait. Uh, that must be. Oh, right, thank you. Uh, that must be great as well. Be he is getting old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's probably not got quite the same energy he used to have. You're probably not wrong there. It's always interesting to see some of those older rockers. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, so where is he? I can't. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, we got him, we got him. God, okay. Six bucks. Is it, is it Fiji water? No, back then, uh, maybe, I don't even remember. I just know we thought like, oh my God, it's six bucks for water, that's insane. And this was probably like 15 years ago. It, it was, it was absurd. Like the best we could do is they had an unrefrigerated water fountain on the back of this bar slash uh, I guess it, yeah it was a bar that they just built kind of a stage in the back of and the best the best they had was an unrefrigerated water fountain oh it was terrible I was there for like five hours in the middle of the day and finally when the main band's about to come on my buddy's like I gotta get out of here I am I am losing my mind so I ended up uh, driving my friend home and then having to drive back to pick everybody up. Oh, this is the worst day. All right, we did it. Okay, this is the last one, right? Yes, perfect. And then we'll be done with this planet. Oh my God, I forgot about the bugs. Or the, uh, the, the ships, uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was, yeah. Like, I was sad to leave, but I also didn't mind too much because I could get some, like, actual food and drink. They told us that the con the venue opened at 2. They didn't tell us when the main show started. The main show didn't start till 9 o'clock that night. So we were going to be stuck there for 7 hours with basically nothing but warm water and no food. It was terrible. And we were like broke, you know, high school kids. So it's not like we had a ton of money for, you know, overpriced snacks and stuff. All right, so we go this way. Got all the bears now. Okay, we got a couple of Flying ships, it's fine. Get this up. Clear her out. No, 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 no. You can't drop the crosshair like that on me. I cannot afford to die now. Oh, what what time is it over there right now? What, like? 3 a.m. or something? Just go down. Just go down. Go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just sleepy time. Three thirty. <laughs> nice. Burning that midnight oil. Almost bedtime, or is it bedtime? I, I mean, for me, I would say it's probably bedtime, but I mean, you know, I don't know what you do with your free time. Maybe you like to wait and watch the sun come up. 
First thing in the morning before you, you uh, head off to bed. That'd be an interesting tradition. Oh yeah, was this the one that was just blank? Yeah, there's literally nothing in here. It's just a dead end. Weird. <laughs> I think there was an uh, episode of American Dad about that. They end up taking pills that don't... Makes it so they don't need to sleep. And Stan's like, yeah, at, at 6 a.m. I, I have a, a solitary hot pocket. It's kind of a thing for me. I just walk my dogs in the morning. Yeah, that's fair. Before it gets too warm. I mean, Germany is still in the northern hemisphere, so it's still technically summer, right? Also, thank God, we just finally got to finish that level. Um, okay, I think the next one we needed to go was, was this one. I don't think we had any of them. How many parts? That's a great question. Let me land on this planet and find out. I'm not even sure where to check exactly. Hot pockets are for the toaster, right? No, nah, well... No, usually you put them in the microwave. I think you're thinking of a toaster strudel or like a, uh, uh, a Pop-Tart. A Pop-Tart. Yeah, we have toaster strudels that can go in the in the in the um in the uh, uh toaster pop tarts. Yes, that is a classic American treat. I don't have any right now though. That's not what I've been eating for breakfast. Okay, let's find out how many parts we've got. Okay. Inventory. So it looks like... Wow, we have 185 tokens. Dang. That ain't a bit... <laughs> if this was Dr. Pepper, that would be a ton of Dr. Pepper. You're not wrong. This is just a uh, tea. It's just a... Uh... Iced tea with uh, no sugar and no caffeine. Okay, so we've got one on the dog. Oh, apparently you can pick up the bear head separately. That's kind of morbid. Um, so let's switch over to... I mean, literally anybody else. And we've got... One part on on him. Wow, there's individual Floyd rewards for each character? That seems weird. And then we've got... Vela. Who... Wait, what? Okay, that's gotta be... Hold on. That's not... That cannot be the right thing, then. Oh, oh, wait. Maybe it's under this. Uh, power cell. One, two, three. Oh, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, yes, yeah, seven, eight, eight pieces. It looks like Ica. Yeah, it looks like eight of the eight of the twelve. So we're two thirds of the way to having all the parts for the ship. All right, so we got to go back to the dog. I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what? I know we need Vela. Um, on this planet also. So I'm going to bring her over there. There's at least one area where you have to swim under the water. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it with her. Okay, we've got about an hour and fifteen minutes left. Oh, I forgot about the rain. I don't know why the rain messes up everything so bad. It's probably a weird setting in the in the uh, emulator. Weird zombies that you can't kill or whatever. Alright. Yeah, I think it, we determined you can't. They mentioned you can't kill the zombies, right? So we just gotta kind of look around. Or was it you had to blow them up? There was something weird about the zombies. I don't remember what it is. I mean, if they don't make me kill stuff, then I'm, I'm kind of okay with not killing things. Because then I can just run around and pick up the bears and call it even. I'm actually fine with that. Not having to kill everything is, is actually optimal for me as far as I'm concerned. Oh, okay, I guess I can't climb those? How obscure are these bears gonna be? Doesn't seem like a, a bear friendly planet, I guess. Yes, robot, I know. <laughs> I get it. You are concerned with the zombies. I get it. Seems to be a full Yeah, it's it's like a swamp planet. And then someone cursed the, the, the evil bugs and it accidentally turned them into the zombies. But I don't remember what they said I have to do to kill them. There's something specific you have to do to be able to, to kill the, the zombies. Um, we'll, we'll try explosives first. Lightning doesn't seem to be doing it. Seems to be more stunning it. Let's try a rocket. All right, well, I mean, that was effective. I can't say it did not kill the thing. I just don't know if that's the best way to go about it. Okay, full pistol ammo. Not. Maybe I can use, like, a basic pistol. Oh, actually, we have a lot of these grenades. Oh, look. When the graphics are like this, I actually have a crosshair for the grenades. Oh, I guess that didn't work. Oh, okay, maybe it's just the little ones are invincible. And the big ones can just be killed normally? I, I don't know. Hi. Here, have a grenade. They're delicious and nutritious. Okay, that does not seem to be working. Magical shuriken does not work. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Ooh, let's try a cluster bomb. Ah, oh, cluster bomb got there. Oh. 
Oh, I left that one. I can't forget my sh magical shuriken. All right, so yeah, it might be rockets are gonna be my best bet here. Oops. But yeah, see, we just have a generic crosshair now. It's gotta be something about this emulator is causing um, some of the some aspect of the crosshair not to work. What the, what, the rocket launcher? Uh, well, it does have the magical effect of just blowing things up, apparently. Did you know that apparently unkillable things, if just completely blown up, will die like anything else? I didn't. Not till now. Oh, shurikens. Oh, oh, the shurikens. Why are they magic? Here, let me show you. Let me see if this will work. Um, they kind of, like, lock on to whatever you throw them at. So they, they magically lock on and and follow the thing you throw them at. Well, if it would... This zombie is just like inside of the thing. Here we go, here we go. So like I can throw it kind of like at an angle and it'll actually try to fly around objects to get to the zombie. Yeah, they are actual weird magical shurikens. It's very strange. Where's the rocket launcher? Oh, here we go. That wasn't enough? What? There we go. <laughs> the cutscene didn't even have time to finish him blowing up before. It's like, yeah, you're good. You got it. I still don't understand what is going on with the graphics there. It's got to be something to do with the emulator. Too easy. Well, I mean, all I'm doing is hitting him with three rockets at the same time. Uh, okay, so it's just more of these. It's fine, probably. Yeah. Oh, that was the cluster one. Look out! Oh, well, the cluster one worked on one of them. That's good. Yeah, like... There's got to be some aspect of this I don't understand. That's so much explosions not to blow this thing up. I mean, a regular bullets isn't going to get it done, right? Well, that's not doing anything. Yeah, it's just got to be, I guess, explosions. Oh, the plasma shotgun works. Really? Oh, odd. I would have not guessed that. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like plasma shotguns to the head is enough to kill the zombies. But what is here? Oh, oh, here we go. We actually found some of the stupid bears. Okay, cool. Dang, so they're like in weird spots. It might be, t we might have to end up looking up the bear locations on this one again. Okay, well, at least we got those two for sure. So I know I don't have to come back into this area at all. Why graphics, why? Why you gotta be so weird? Oh, okay, so it actually gives me plasma shotgun ammo. Okay. Hmm. Right, well, let's keep moving forward and see if we can actually find more bears. I really... No. 
Okay. I think I vaguely remember this. Oh, is this where I had to be? Are you allowed to play Conkers on Twitch? I don't know, actually. I don't see why not. I think I've seen someone play it on, on Twitch before. And, I, and the remake, um, like the remaster they did was they toned it down a little bit. So I'm sure you could play the remastered version. The original might be a little too spicy for Twitch. I don't know. It's hard to say. Locked trap door. Okay. But yeah, that was definitely a classic. And that was one I never played back in the day. Really? This will take me out of here? So there's still seven more f bears someplace? How is that possible? Because there is some uh, dirty stuff in Conker's Bad Fur Day. See, will this actually blow this door open? Nope. Hmm. This is gonna let us leave. So what am I missing then? Where are these seven other teddy bears? Is yeah, that's why I'm wondering. It was a lot of fun. I've I've heard that. I think uh, the little bit I've seen of people play the remaster, they said it was really good. And antihero, yeah. That is, Conkers is not a person to be looked up by, look, looked up to as a, a, a leader or a, someone to aspire to be. No. Spends most, most of the problems he comes across is because he got so drunk the night before. Like, don't, don't, don't be like Conkers, kids. He, uh, he can't hold his liquor. Okay, so are there just bears hidden in this swamp? Is that what I'm missing? So I really don't see them. Maybe I have to go back and kill those big guys in that starting area? And then that will unlock something? Maybe that's it. No, don't throw stuff at me. Okay, take care of that one. Whoa. Okay. Alright. Now, did that do something? Um, it doesn't look like it. How can there still be seven bears here? It doesn't make any sense. So confused. Maybe I should should switch over to the dog. Maybe the dog would be better at climbing into the trees and stuff. Maybe I have to come back. Oh, you know what? I think the guy has a key. Maybe the key is for that locked trap door? <laughs> Which floor am I on? Uh, the, um, the... I think technically I'm on the third floor? If I remember correctly? It's kind of weird. Because, I mean, I'm, there's buildings two, three, and five, and I'm on floor three in building three, if I remember correctly. Not a, not, this building isn't that tall. This one only goes up to floor four, so. So maybe that's what that key was? Okay. Let's switch characters and get him here then. Because I don't think she's got anything. Oh, no, she's got a key. 
Well, I guess that's not what I'm thinking of then. So the buildings behind you? The buildings behind me. Wait, hold on. What? No, no, the, we're inside the building. So this is the this is the uh one of the uh, um like worker areas. And then back there is a different worker area, but that one's shut off. They don't usually use do do anything with that at night. Um it's not used very often. Like the lamps are off and like the uh, there's some computers over there, but no one's works over there most of the time. Oh, you thought it was outside. No, no, no. We're in inside right now. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so I'm confused. What am I missing, man? Is there maybe one of these mausoleums or whatever has? Maybe I can blow one of them open? Oh, I can. Oh, oh, okay. Here we go. That would explain it. Oh, yeah. There's just two of them in here. Oh, that makes sense then. Yeah, why didn't I think to just blow up in the mausoleums? Of course, I'm an idiot. I'm a complete fool for not thinking to blow open the mausoleums. Dang, that grenade bounced. Excuse me? That's not, okay. These grenades suck, by the way. There we go. Dang. Oh, wait. There's an item in here? Oh, apparently this is an item I've already gotten. Okay. So that leaves us with five bears still unaccounted for. Oh, wait, wait. Is there one more? One. Actually, does this work? No. Not quite what I was looking for. Really need those bears. Really need those bears, everybody. Okay, maybe I have to use the rocket launcher specifically. Oh, it does give me try rocket launcher stuff. Maybe that's what I have to do. Oh my god. Okay. No, just jump, okay, perfect. Make you know I have a nice night. Thanks, Ika, you too. Hope to see you back on Thursday. Hmm. Maybe, well, we'll try bringing the dog here. Maybe the dog will have better, better luck. I'm really confused. All right, dog, it's your turn. Because he's also here. Okay, so blowing them up didn't accomplish anything. There's no reason to do that. Oh, he's badly injured, though. He needs some health. Blowing up these didn't do any good. Well, I mean, I guess they opened that side area. But it's not really our main issue right now. Our biggest issue is trying to figure out where the other teddy bears are. No, he doesn't seem to be having any easier time climbing on these logs. And now he's stuck. Okay, those are very slippery, apparently. All right, can the dog, like, I don't know, do something different in the church or the graveyard? The pontoons are still very cute, though. I, I still appreciate the pontoons. Because, I mean, at this point, if we can't figure out how to open this, 
There's no point in being on this planet. Nope, it's still just a locked trap door. Hmm. Maybe... Is there s something else to blow up somewhere? I mean, there's those two ruined buildings, but I didn't see any entrances or anything. And I do remember there being some underground stuff here, but I don't remember being this hard to figure out. Uh, oh, okay. I'm not seeing anything in here that indicates, like, secret passage somewhere. Be aware. Huh. I think other than this, we had Mizar's Palace that we needed one area. But I think we needed to go with Juno for that. Hmm. Okay. There's the bog, there's the bridge, there's the castle. Yeah, in the bog, we've only managed to find one. We've gotten up to four. So that means there's still five missing somewhere. In the bridge and the castle, we only missed one. So that one should be a little bit easier to deal with. Hmm. All right. Well, done, 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 done. 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 Yeah, Mizar's Palace and Ikor. I guess we can go to Ikor and do that instead. Perimeter and the military base. I swear this is going to turn out to be some stupid thing like... Uh, the emulator, when the rain is going, doesn't show or something. And the, you can't find the bears if it's raining. Okay, Ikor. Let's try this instead. They sell to your name? No, no. That's that's my online name. I don't I don't give out my personal name. That's just what I, I go by. Like, I guess if you're running around playing Call of Duty or something and you run into a cell tier, there's a chance it's me. So that's just the name I use for most things these days. Okay, so we're getting... Oh, okay, we're just... Oh my, all right, yeah, it's just, it's popping off. It's popping off real, real fast here. All right, it's fine. Oh, the graphics. The graphics don't like the rain. Machine gun, and then deal with these small guys first. Ow, lest that happen. Alright, then, so I'm heading to bed as well. Have a good night, and it was fun again, and good luck with the swamp planet. Thanks. Yeah, they, these both these planets now. Oh, well, that's one of do it. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I will definitely try to catch one of your next streams, hopefully. Yeah, sleep well. Have a good day. I guess Wednesday for you. Most of a hit. Oh, this rain. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Yeah, the emulator does not like the rain, everybody. I don't know what is going on, but it's not a fan. Not a fan. I know if you really want to make that paint and stream. Oh, okay. Uh, I will. I will. I'll think about it a little bit more and figure out what what I can do and how I would do it. It's going to be a little bit... I would have to, like, rearrange the office and get permission from people to make sure they don't mind me painting in the office. But, yeah. But definitely let you know. Okay, I do remember this planet. 
I do remember being kind of a pain in the butt. So we have more ammo. I'm going to need it. Oh, he blew himself up with a grenade. Sure. Bye. Yeah, have a good one. Oh. Yeah, because I think we were trying to snipe around here some. It wasn't really working. I think I have a sniper bullet left. Yeah. Snipe him. Snipe him right in his dumb bug face. That'll work. Oh, what are you guys doing here? I thought I humbly requested you not swarm me. Yeah, it has really good hit detection sometimes. I guess that's what I get for attacking a, uh, an enemy base planet or whatever. We can always use some ammo. Ah. wanted that ammo. Okay. Oh, homing missile ammo. I didn't think he had a homing missile gun. I guess that's good to know. Also, I don't think we've seen a single teddy bear yet, which is concerning. Okay, we don't have a blue key. I'll have to figure out who does. I'm guessing it's probably Juno, right? Oh, good, we're inside. Uh, oh, what? Oh. So hopefully less graphical issues. I wonder if that has something to do with that other kind of emulator I've been, I've been using. Like this one has some kind of weird up to make it look nice on modern screens, but it can't handle the weird flicker effect of the rain. much easier and smoother that is once we're inside and not, I don't know, completely borking all of the graphics. Where are the, the teddy bears? There's a door there. I don't think that's what I needed to do, but hey, we're here now. And we're on a planet, so if I blow up glass, I shouldn't get, like, spaced or anything. Okay. Looks like we've been here. Oh, wait. No? Wait, what? Oh, we found flares. Oh, oh, okay. We must have that other weapon, but we don't have flares. I think we do, I do vaguely remember talking to somebody about that. How other people can pick up the same weapons. Or something like that. So there's vaguely a reason, I guess, to go into an area again to get a second weapon for a different character, but eh. If it's not extremely vital, I don't think I'm Here's the blue key card thing. I guess I should have gone the other direction, but whatever. Technically, we haven't left yet. Oh, hi. Uh, what? I'm gonna get away from you before you hit me with a rock. Like that. Oh, did he blow himself up? Oh, I thought he blew himself up. Will he blow himself up, though? I don't think he will. He 
doesn't seem to appreciate that. Oh, I think we get it. Oh, I think we got it. Okay, cool. Maybe he hit one of these barrels and just blew himself up with that as opposed to... Uh... I'm gonna get off of this weapon before I switch rooms, but... Oh. Wait, is that a circle? How is that a... S I guess it's a circle. Alright, well... Okay, so I'm guessing at this point what we're gonna end up having to do... Oh. I wasn't... I didn't think that was actually gonna work, but here we are. I guess. Gotta find the secret areas when you come back to her area, right? Oh, this is a robot thing. Oh. If we've already done the one that is required to finish the module, then I am not concerned with this. Let's just continue. Let's, let us get away from the Floyd missions. Which I continue to not improve, not, not be a fan of. Is there a separate one, like, up here? There might actually be a separate thing up there. Let me, let me go find out. Can I? I think I can, but I just don't know if I, if I need to. Uh, no. Apparently I did not. Okay. So until we get the blue key, we can't do too much exploring. Oh, there's some teddy bears. Oh, and it's they're being guarded by that jerk. Yeah, it's probably fine. We'll probably make this work somehow. Higher. Okay, that works actually somehow. We are taking a lot of damage. I don't care for that. That'll work. That'll also work. Oh, that's all right. No. I don't like that they can just run into me to do damage like that. It really bothers me. Go down. There we go. Dang, what a fight. We also got very lucky that that, that can't, the gas, uh, that barrel or whatever didn't explode. Can use some health now, though. This actually weirdly looks like someplace I'm supposed to come down from. That looks like a scene transition, but I don't know why that would be... Up there? I'll take that. Oh. oh, hi. I didn't expect floating squids, clearly. Oh, there was teddy bears down here. Oh, thank God I didn't accidentally machine gun them or the, or the drone didn't fly into them. We need help so badly right now. Well, that's what I get, I guess. Finally, they were shooting at me. I just don't want them shooting at me. Oh, God. Okay, I'll take care of you first. Don't target the bear. At work. I might have to go back to that starting area and get the health crystal. If it respawned. I don't know if it did, but... It looks like there's an ant over there. I have to be 
careful. I don't know where bears are or are not. Lock on rocket launcher? Yes. Well, uh, uh, close enough, I guess. It's probably kind of wasteful, but. I kind of just need to take care of these things. I'm low on health. And now we have the jetpack, so we can get up there. That's something that's changed. Plasma shotgun ammo? Why? Oh, thank God you didn't die! Thank God in all the rocket fire and explosions, you didn't die. Thank the Lord. Thank... Thank the Lord. That would have been really bad. Got him. Okay, perfect. The, the, the dog's mobility might be a little higher than they intended. I feel like some of this I was meant to use the jetpack symbol for. I mean, we'll grab the fuel just in case, but... Otherwise, we're doing pretty well. I just need health now. Okay. And I don't see any more bears. I don't see them, so... Oh, okay, I do remember this, actually. As the dog, this should be much easier because I can just float around. Okay, we got seven left. Oh, hi. Hi, I, I didn't see you there. How, how you doing? That, of course, hit me and injured me. Of course. Why wouldn't it have? Why wouldn't it have? Okay, ammo increase. Full ammo packs, which is good. Uh, we should have a less dangerous weapon equipped in case I misclick. Nothing down here, really? Hmm. I guess it's just meant to be some kind of a cover spot. Homing missile capacity increase. Oh, that's good. Definitely burning through missiles, so that makes sense to me. But yeah, definitely could use health. So, where else do I need to be going? I guess just over there. <laughs> Alright, that almost didn't work. Almost. <laughs> okay. A little cheaty, but, you know, what can you do? Oh, good. There's a guy, uh, one of the full health things here. Great. And as the dog, I don't really need to play with the uh, push buttons. Perfect. With 190 coins, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to get both of these. Uh, and this. Yep. And get away from me. Perfect. Ooh, it's a family of three. 
That leaves us with four more. I guess I should check to make sure there's not any hidden down here. I, I, I assume they wouldn't do that to me, but I shouldn't assume. They've done a lot of weird stuff to me. Might as well check. Ooh, see like that. Another homing missile increase. Perfect. All right, cool. I think we're good to just get out of here now. Okay, we're down to what? Four? Okay, that's one of the ones who kills them. There's two in here. Uh, I do remember this area. It was a, it's a toughie. Give me a lot of homing missiles. Okay. I think this is actually when we first started talking about the different characters having different abilities. Nope. Wait, what? Wait, did you come to me? Wait, where? Oh, there's another one hidden here. Oh, perfect. This is all of them. Great. We have to go get the really hard one from way over there. But other than that, we're good. Now we have this. We have returned to the this nonsense. Oh my god. Oh wait, wait, jetpack? Oh, tell me this is a jetpack. Please tell me this is a jetpack. Oh, it's a jetpack. That's so nice of them. That's so much nicer. Oh, that's so good. Perfect. That's all it takes. We're good. And we're good. I don't remember which one of these I need to go through. Oh, okay, this is the one. Oh, I guess we would have to do it as Juno. I'm gonna save state this. Uh, I don't know. All right, well, we'll just make a break. Haha! -ha! Okay, it's silly, but we can do this. This is definitely meant to be done as Juno, but that's fine. We'll take a couple of hits. There's plenty of gems in the next room, so. And we're only taking two hits there and back, so. Oh, it's one, actually. Perfect. Okay. Um. Wait, where's it wanting to go? I guess there's that one. We get this. Heal up after all the lava bath. Oh, wasn't there? Oh yeah, there we go. I'm like, I thought there were more gems in here. Oh, fantastic. Oh, it's good to have extra of these. We're good to go. Now we just gotta get to the exit without dying. Perfect. Save it just in case. I do like that this just comes pre-programmed with saving as a thing you can do. I don't have to fight with figuring out how to do a, a memory card or nothing. Which was a little weird for Azura's dream. I would have assumed that would just kind of been in there, but reasons beyond my control, I guess not. Oh yeah, we already got all the bears. So this is just, I can let loose. I don't have to worry about not blowing up a bear. Go around him and get the gun. Get the ammo, you idiot. God. Ow. What? 
Where did you jerk of a bug? Why? Excuse me. Okay, so he's also apparently at least partially incorporeal, huh? He can just phase through matter. It's a kind of an upgrade, I would say. Ah, like this seems like too big of an open area for not something to attack. I don't know what exactly, but something was going to attack. Mizar tokens. I assume those are named after, like, the head bad guy? Like, Mizar's palace, so they're Mizar tokens, and, like, they would be, like, Bowser tokens if we were playing Mario. I assume that's what the breakdown is. Now, if I remember right, wasn't there two big guys with, like, rocket launchers, too? You had these. Did that guy just fall off the bridge? Like, of his own? Oh, there's machine gun turns. That's what it is. Yeah, we'll just do that. what's happening. I don't... I don't quite get the rocket launcher. But the rocket launcher doesn't get the rocket launcher. Oh my god. Enough with the shield guy. Something hit me there? I beg to differ. What? Where? There, now you're just dead. really wish I had a crosshair. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to. Is this... Oh, okay. Apparently that eventually got there. Really? Okay. I, I again, disagree, but... Is that not enough rocket? What? How many rockets does it take to kill one turret? I don't understand. Oh my god. Get into cover, you stupid dog. What are you doing? just invincible? What is going on? I'm very confused. Um, like that one eventually blew up. Oh, okay. Well, this is a different also stupid thing, but... on health again. Oh, oh, no, 
no, no, no, don't lose the crosshair. You gotta keep the crosshair. Um, okay. Apparently this is, in fact, not. Is it bug? Like... There we go, finally. Oh my god. That was... That was very dumb. Okay. Are we good? Is there one more thing to ambush me on the way out? I am very low on health. setting up a boss fight? Okay, so there must be a secret area because I know there was two different parts to this. Like the interior and the exterior or something. Or like interior and the, the wall or something like that. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is just the boss fight. So yeah, there must be a secret area you can get to. Oh my god, what? Uh... Why? <laughs> okay, that's not quite what I expected to happen there. I thought it would stop and let me get on. Alright. Okay. No, oh, okay. There we go. Okay, we're back outside. I don't think I got a blue key. And this feels like a different area than the other one. I don't know if this one, the other one we had these weird little like outcroppings like this. Oh, well, there's our ship. Which is fine. Okay. So we got all the teddy bears this time. But I thought there was a second area. I don't want to land right back here because it starts out with a fight and I want to actually just look at my inventory. Is there a way? What? Oh, that does stuff. Okay. Oh, wait, unless, no, I don't see any side plays. I think these are all done. Go back to Mizar's palace. I don't think that starts with a fight. I think we just land. I would. I'd still like to be able to skip these cutscenes, but. future where they didn't really understand aerodynamics at all it's just thrusters on a box wait what why are we Juno huh that's not who I was playing as uh, yeah there's the military base and then the perimeter but we started at the military base. I wonder... 
Then Mizar's palace is the last place is the chasm. Was there anywhere else? And then just Trois Fret with the bog, the bridge, and the castle, which we were both only one away. Yeah, so it's okay. These are literally the last three places. The perimeter. I feel like I haven't been to the perimeter. He was there last time, right? So... Is this like a Vela thing? No, Vela would have been the one it looks like probably went through this originally. Okay, let's try taking him here then. Because now we've done it as the dog, and now we'll do it as him. Is there maybe... There's got to be something I'm missing. Because it just starts at the military base. With a fight. It's a little beat up, but it's not, not that big a deal. Gotta love the flickering in of the... Uh... Wow, you have... That's all you got for... Rockets? You only got 10? Really? So there's got to, yeah, there's definitely got to be another area. Maybe the blue key thing? Was that here? Wait, hold on. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Okay, he's got a blue key. So this is the blue key area. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Was that here, though? I'm trying to remember. I think that was here. So I have to fight through this courtyard. He's just staring me down like, well, what are we doing here? Well, I'm trying to line up a good shot to shoot you in the face. I don't know what you're doing. Like, why? What about the rain is causing all this weird extra glitching? And why? You know what I mean? Like, it's gotta be something to do with the emulator is trying to like up-res the bad old graphics and it's causing just a loss of Do it that way, I guess. Please pick up the ammo. Thank you. No. No, I did not look up. No, no looking up. That's a terrible idea. Yeah, I really don't like that they can just bum rush me like that. And it's not just that they have shields. Because there's... What am I stuck on? Oh, it's just the flickers. It's causing dumb. Okay. Gonna work. Oh, I was hoping that'd fall off so I can collect the ammo. But... Uh, what? He can shoot behind his own... Oh, well... I'll let the grenade do the work, I guess. On that one. Well, that actually might work. 
wasn't intentional, or... Standing next to the bloke, the exploding barrel was was no effect, eh? Okay, so he's got the blue key, so he's gonna have to do the perimeter run. Got it. Interesting. I wonder if there was a way for me to get the the blue key with somebody else. Because, I mean, if you can mix and match weapons and parts and and stuff, I wonder if there's a way you can, uh... Like, if I could have gotten... Oh, wait, right, right, right. Because this is the base. We got to go to the, the perimeter. Yes. Okay, we're at the perimeter. So, we've already collected the 16 there. So, that doesn't matter. Perfect. I'll take that ammo. Why would we, I mean, maybe this is a dumb question, but why would we need to even be out here? Like if we've already gone inside and defeat, defeated the boss, why does the parameter, the perimeter matter at all? You know what I mean? Like, I guess, is it just because we know there's teddy bears here? Is that the? It? Robots? No? No robots? That looked like a wide open area where robots would show up. I guess not. Nothing. That felt like the perfect place to hide a thing. Whether it be a teddy bear or uh, just a, like a, a ammo increase. Oh, it's a life force. Okay. Wait, wasn't I just prompted that an enemy was here? Oh, they're outside. Oh, weird. Oh, okay, so this is like a sniper battle. Or, you know, shooting through walls battle. Or oh my God. Do I even have a sniper rifle on you? Oh my god, I don't. Oh, this is gonna suck. I mean, technically this is all the same area, right? So maybe... Okay, at least they have really low amounts of hit points. I appreciate that. That's a that's a nice give. You only have to hit with a couple of shots to actually kill them. I don't know if this is how I meant to do it. Or if like I can just run through a door and I'll just be down there and run up and like put my gun in their mouth and pull the trigger, but As you can tell, this very precise system. Is a, is a little finicky sometimes with things. I reset it and see if I can't find a slightly better angle. Oh, this actually might work. That's better. That's, that's slightly better. Left and right isn't as bad, I think because of the strafing, but vertical is really brutal.
Oh. Oh, he's not dead? Oh. Yeah, he's dead. Is that it? Is that all we needed? Did we actually unlock the life force door that way? <laughs> Apparently not. Real butts. I guess that's a couple less enemies for whenever we get over to wherever that is. Oh, we're up on the actual, like, walkways now. That's probably fine. One thing I really see up here is a, maybe a robot ambush? Still haven't crossed, come across any of the teddy bears, though. Wait. Is that indicating I'm leaving? What? Oh yeah, here's the blue door inside of... Why? What? But there was like nothing... We... I didn't see any bears? Though there's gotta be some other kind of... Path something. Or something. Yeah, we have to maybe jump out the window. Maybe I can crawl out that window. I guess I'm just supposed to shoot them all from here and that will open the life force door. Well, that's a waste of time. Luckily, I have tons of ammo. Like, almost literally a ton of ammo, actually. Uh, okay, we're in position. Luckily, they're not good shots most of the time. It just sucks that he's the one with the blue card and not a sniper rifle. I'll tell you what. Really? You you ran over to the corpses of your friends and were like, yeah, that's where I want to stand, right where my friends got shot. Life lessons, team. Learn them from the death of your friends. Well, that'll work. Not how I meant it to work, but... Oh, oh actually, maybe. That's one. Oh, that's two. This is the silliest way to do this. I mean, it's just patience, I guess, and figuring out your angles. Ah, oh, we actually hit me with one. Wing me. Okay, so then there should be one more tower over here. Okay, okay, I think we're getting there. I don't see anything else out there. Oh, it did open. Okay, that's what we needed to do. It's sort of insane to me, but all right. Shotgun. Oh, 
there are. I thought maybe it was just going to be high ground, so I didn't have to worry about the water. Wow, he was just stupid enough to turn his back to me. Run, get the ammo. Oh. Okay. I don't know. I guess I don't really need this right this second, but. Yeah, see, these guys are good shots. Which is weird, because you would think that these would be the not as good as shots, given that they're just using, like, presumably a pistol? I saw his gun fall off, but I don't see it. Where are all the teddy bears, by the way? call that efficient, but I wanted them dead, and they are now dead. Oh, there's a teddy bear. First one we've gotten a hold of in this area. No, this is only the second area in this area, or third, third area. I don't want shotgun increases. The shotgun sucks. It doesn't seem to actually do anything. That's what I'm gonna need it for, okay. I'm gonna switch away from the explosions just because I don't know where the teddy bears are gonna be and now we're actually seeing teddy bears, so. Stupid teddy bears died somehow. One of the... <sighs> Alright, so there's not even a point to continue. If the teddy bear died, then that was why we're here. Alright, I'm just going to have him fly back to the beginning. We just have to start over. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, God, is that frustrating. Oh. Oh, he can actually restart from here. That's mm, that's not great. Okay, but they're not counting any of the bears dead. Okay, so this is actually the perfect place to end it then. I'm going to clean this up and then before we leave. Cuz the problem I'm having now is I'm just low on supplies. And there's no healing gems here. I mean, I guess I could leave. Nah, I don't really want to leave and go back. And go get that, I guess, go get the red gem. 
fudge. Okay, right, and this is all sniper fire stuff. Alright, perfect. Okay, we'll just save here. Save state it. Great. Um yes, yes. That's that's it. That's literally all I needed to do. Uh okay, okay. Oh, that's too far. Close content. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, okay. Alright. I guess a quick what did we learn? Um um, what did we learn? Things we learned. Um, oh, God. Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean. Oh, oh, uh. How would I even? I don't even know how to describe that. But the teddy teddy bears use a deflector lector satellite system light system. I know sat. A uh, light. That's a little bit better. Not a light system to defend their planet. Um. The the power source is borrowed, or the like. F I guess the power delivery source machine. Delivery device is bar or is like contracted. Contracted. Um, it's powered. The the power delivery device. Uh, the power delivery device. Uh, device is powered by green gems which is uh, its own thing um and then what else the what's the other thing what's another thing we learned um oh certain areas um the dogs the dogs um what is um jet uh jump packs i guess or i guess basic jet packs basic jet packs uh will allow um some uh what do you call it uh traversal traversal cheese so we got the teddy bears use a deflector satellite system to defend their planet we learned that uh, the power delivery device is a contracted device. It's not from the planet. It, it, or le it leaves. The power delivery device is powered by green gems supplied by the bears. And then the, the dog's basic jet packs will allow traversal cheesing. It, it will definitely let you do some weird movement stuff to break a lot of the puzzles the, from the, the first time you went through. All right. That's done. Scheduling. Uh, next week, more of this. I think we're almost done. We're missing, what, four parts. We know we're going to get at least one of those from collecting all the bears. So that leaves three other parts we got to figure out how to get. I'm thinking at least one of them has to do with um, the zombie planet. Because I want to say there was something we were supposed to do where we went and got like a magazine or, or went and did something in a church or something. And then we came back and talked to the, the gravedigger guy. And that would result in him probably giving us a part. But we couldn't do it the first time we went through for some reason. I, I don't remember. I just remember that, like, there's a guy there who was part of, like, a, one of the gravediggers. And there was a guy there who was also the one who threw out the curse 
that cause the undead to show up. So I know there's a little bit of stuff to do. It's just how we get around, go around like finding those five missing teddy bears is beyond me. Um, but yeah, that'll be next week, next Tuesday, 4 p.m. here on Twitch. Um, and then what do we got? Uh, Thursday. <sighs> Thursday right now, as we had just finished up um, um, Azura Dream, I believe the next thing on the docket for the tactical stuff is Lufia 2, a Super Nintendo module that has, I guess, a very similar feel. Uh, a very similar feel to, um, yes, Lufia 2. Okay, yes. Um, both have an emulators in my phone right now. Okay, yeah, so, uh, Lufia 2, Rise of the Sinstrels, Sinstrels, uh, Super Nintendo, so hopefully you should have a problem, problem emulating that. I mean, you can basically run those on a, like it mentioned here on the Discord, it, run it on a phone. Not even an issue. Um, but yeah, that'll be Thursday, um, two days from today, uh, 4 p.m. here on Twitch. Um, and then Saturday, for the immersive, a.k.a. no face cam horror stream, we have um, Yuppie Psycho. We're on part, or our third uh, part of Yuppie Psycho. Um, it's interesting. It just took a wild, wild, wild turn this past Saturday. Um, hopefully social media can get that edited and put up there soon so you can get caught up because, oh boy, did some stuff go down this past, this past week. Um, uh, I guess I will say this. It, we helped out with Hugo's birthday party. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that'll be Saturday, uh, 3 p.m. for the immersive, aka no face cam horror stream. Um, if like I was saying, uh, hopefully we can get this caught up, and all this will be up on the YouTube repository. Raven Hillbrook Inc. Hillbrook again is one word. I N C. Um, uh, links for that are in chat and on the info page. Basically, everything I make gets lightly edited and put up there. Um, then we also have the Discord, as I, I was talking about just a second ago also. Uh, links for that are in chat and on the info page. Uh, model, uh, uh, module recommendations, uh, clips and highlights. If you saw something funny, make a clip for it and put it up there. Uh, we got water cooler jokes. We have lunch break stuff, so take some of your interesting food pics. Employee artboard, we love your art. Post the links to it, whether it's paintings or writing or, I don't know, YouTube videos or whatever. Post it up there. We'd love to see it. Uh, we have pet stuff. Uh, the, we have the after hours section for the spicier stuff. All that over there in the Discord. Uh, then last but not least, we have the Twitter, at Hillbrook Inc. Again, Hillbrook is one word, I-N-C. Uh, schedule reminders, updates if there are changes, and notes for management to the board. Um, if you need a well-thought-out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hillbrook Inc., thinking solutions. Uh, board members, again, thank you all so much for stopping by. Uh, ladies entry for running HR, of course. Ica. Uh, Blur official for swinging there at the end. Thank you so much. Uh, a salty or a. Oh my god, how do you say it? It's. Uh, my brain. Oh god. I can't. It's not functioning. Okay, there's OSR. OSR, yes, thank you. Uh, a sultry saltine. There we go. Oh my god. Thank you for stopping by again. Good to see you back. Um. All the lurkers, thank you. Uh, it's always greatly appreciated. You keep the Twitch world go round. Um, anybody who checks out the VODs here on Twitch, thank you. Anybody who checks out the VODs in the YouTube repository, thank you. It's all greatly appreciated. Um, I think that's about got it. I think so. Oh, but uh, look forward to the, the, the tweet about our new pair of sponsorships starting on Thursday. Uh, we are wrapping up. Today was the last uh, day of the... Of the of the uh, boiling bottling company Root Beer with real cane sugar established in 1891. Today was the last day with them. Uh, it was very good stuff. If you like yourself a nice, um, I would say not even super strong, not a super bitey root beer, but just a nice solid root beer with a little bit of maybe almost mm, 
a little pepperminty or something at the end, just a little aftertaste of like a mint. Uh, give it a shot. Totally worth it. Uh, it was like five fifty for a bottle of or a, a pack of four. Nice dollar twenty five. It's a it's a it's a soda you're meant to enjoy drinking. It's not meant to be chugged or something. Um, but yeah, but then we'll have our new one starting Thursday. Uh, we gave a little bit of a, a, a spoiler on that, uh, but I will be putting out an official uh, tweet. Well, I will give the notes to social media to put out the tweet um, about the new pair of sponsorship tomorrow. Uh, and then we'll start that. We'll actually start uh, drinking them on Thursday. Um, I think that about covers it, though. I'm going to go help out social media a little bit, and then uh, I'm going to head home. I hope you all have a good one. I hope to see you back Thursday. If not, that's okay. Uh, we just, you know, we appreciate, you know, we, we just hope you have a good one in general, whether you're here or not. Um, but yeah, I think that takes care of everything. Uh, yeah. Bye.